Do I have a boyfriend? No, I don't. I'm single. Hi guys, my name is Abigail Timothy and I play the character Kene in the series Class of Secrets Season 2. And this is my live question and answer session. Um, who eats most on set? That should be Bravado, the character Ugo. Yes, Bravado is always eating. <laughs> is it that he's eating, he's drinking Pepsi, or he's eating Pringles, or he's plantain chips? Brava, you will never catch Bravado not eating. That character Ugo <laughs> is the one. Oh, uh, my favorite scene to film, Class of Secret Season 2. That should be. Hmm, that's a hard one because I had a lot of scenes. That should be my confrontation with Freya. I think that part where Freya met um, Kenny in the bathroom, I was saying that, um, you know, Kenny was responsible for posting that she's pregnant to the anonymous, and I was like, no, that's not me. Take your giri giri gaga. <laughs> that was my favorite scene. How I prepared for my role in the series. Uh, okay, so prior to season one, I already know my character, I already knew my character, so I just had to look it, you know, I made my hair, practiced my lines, tried to have this mean but somewhat trustworthy face, kind of, you know, is always the person that's going around telling everybody to trust her. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I actually just made my hair, tried to look the part and prepared myself for it, that's it. The most challenging part of playing my character. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't really know. I don't think any part was actually challenging for me. Mm -mm. I don't think any part was challenging for me. Oh, how I bonded with my fellow cast members. Well, the truth is, I'm a very social person, and there is there's no place I go to that I don't really like, you know, make friends and all of that. But once I come in, I'm already talking, I'm creating content. So everybody wants to be like part of my content. So, like, it was really easy to just bond with them. All I had to do was bring out my phone and say, okay, I'm shooting this, who wants to be part of it? And everybody's like, okay. And then, but you know, even bonded. And then there's a, Freya was also a content creator, so it made it easier for me, you know? So, and I've worked with some of them on other sets before, so it was really easy to bond. My favorite behind the scene moment was anytime we call welfare. Once food arrives, that's my favorite behind the scene moment because I'm always hungry. Although not more hungry than Ugo, but that's my favorite behind the scene moment. Hmm, one thing I learned while working in Class of Secrets, that would be, um, okay, it's not really a tough one, I'm just trying to think. One thing I learned while working in Class of Secrets would be how to follow people, because there are different characters you meet on set, and then you just have to, like, not get angry, not get too emotional, not get too sad, or anything when working with people and then some some of the characters some of the people were just you know but one thing i learned was how to follow people both cast and crew and just made everybody love me <sighs> the how i unwind after a long shooting day is i sleep once i get back to the hotel i just sleep so, no big deal. My favorite line from the series, from my character was, I'm the only person you can trust, so trust me. That's, that's my favorite line. <laughs> I even had to do it with the attitude. <laughs> okay, can I describe Kenya in three words? One, everywhere. Kenya is always everywhere. Two, trustworthy actually, because if you look at it, she can actually trust Kenya. And thirdly, pork nosing. 
Kenya, Kenya is always in everybody's business. <laughs> That's the three words. Who is always late on set? Dash, I think. Ah, oh, this is a tough one. No, it's not tough. I'm just trying to remember the particular person. Because I'm always early on set. It's either Angela. Yes, the character Janelle. Angela can come like two to three hours after we have started shooting. And she'll walk in like she owns the place. I love you though, but <laughs> you're always coming late. The uh, person is always on their phone, on set. That would be me. <laughs> I'm always on my phone. <laughs> Sorry. You, if you watch the series, you'll find out that I'm always in my phone because whenever they say action, I can't just go and drop it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm always on my phone. Who is always complaining about the weather? Um, that would be... Naza. Is it like it's too hot? Or it's cold? She's having Qatar, the weather is dry because we shot um, during Hamatan. So <laughs> she's, ah, uh, Nazar is actually always complaining. And we're together, so she always complains to me. Hey, who is most likely to sleep off on set? It is no other person than Bravado. <laughs> <laughs> Bravado will finish eating. And if it's not his say yet, next time you're coming to meet Bravado, he's sleeping. <laughs> Okay, who is always singing on set? That is um, Jessica, the character Octavia. Yes, she's oh, and she has a beautiful voice, so she's like she's showing off. You know, Jessica is always singing. She even we even had the behind the scene video of us singing together, and it was really lovely. So she's always singing. <laughs> who is most likely to break a character and laugh? Um. Okay, I think that'll be Sonny actor because he, he's he's always acting with um, bravado. So whenever bravado does his whole <laughs> feminine thing, he would just laugh. <laughs> Who spends most time on makeup? Okay, that would be our principal, Mr. Elo He's the one that spends most time. Mr. Elo would not be sweating. He will come and meet makeup artists, dab my face. Dab your face, that's what happens, sir. <laughs> you are not sweating. But you come and dab your face. It's Mr. Our principal is the one. The most talkative on set, the most talkative on set, that would be Bolo Atife, the character um, Emmanuel. Bolo Atife can talk for Africa. Hey, Bolo Atife is always talking, always talking. Mm. Social butterfly, that's him. Um, what is the best advice I've received from a fellow cast on set? I think um the best advice I received from Dove, the character Freya, was when she told me that I should just do it. I shouldn't do it because I was, you know, trying to be cool or trying to make everyone know I could act. I shouldn't look at any other person. If I wasn't playing Kenne, the other character that I would have played, um, I think that would be Octavia. I would have been a very good Octavia. What one thing that people don't know about me <laughs> is I am not a morning person. No. Don't wake me up by six o'clock. Throw your long, don't try it. I can't fight you. The only time I wake up early is when I have to work. But if I'm not working, please don't wake me up. Most annoying on set. Most annoying on set. Car cast or crew. Um, okay, let me start with cast. Most annoying on set. I think that was Teniela. No, 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 not Teniela, sorry. Teniela was actually very adorable. I think it was... It was more this girl. Ah, trying to remember her name and her character name. Um, hey. 
<laughs> oh, no sound no nonsense. Ah. Okay, I'll just scrap these questions because I can't remember her name. Um that character that played Tomboy. This is character that played Tomboy. Mm. Chloe! Yes! Yeah, why why for me, why I feel like she was annoying is because she was always like alone. Yeah. And I'm a social butterfly, so most times even when I want to try to talk to her, she's like, yeah, you know, and then she goes back. And I'm like, okay, do you understand? So that was annoying for me. Then for crew, most annoying crew person. Um, that would be the welfare person. Because she comes late. And then she's not bringing enough food. So that was actually annoying for me because I, I love food, so. <laughs> Who is always taking selfie on sets? Me. I am always in my phone, so I'm always taking selfie on sets. Director's favorite on sets. Uh, director's favorite on sets will also be me. Yes, I am director's favorite on sets. Okay, so the advice I'll give actors preparing for movie roles um, is the same advice that Dove Freya told me. Just do it. You have a monologue you see online, just do it. Don't wait for, okay, there's no opportunity, there's no this, there's no that. My mentor always tell me preparation meets opportunity, so just do it. Do it. Don't wait for when you have plenty followers before you know it's small, 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 small. You see an audition, you see this one, just go for it. Attack it with so much energy and then you can have a go. Do I have a boyfriend? No, I don't. I'm single. 